Lena Siegfried here. This is day eight of my water conservation challenge. I've just checked into a hotel room, uh, motel room rather, in Lalosh in northern Saskatchewan, and uh, this is where I'm going to be spending the next five days. So I'm a little bit dismayed to find a pretty huge toilet tank in this hotel room, but uh, I'm going to deal with it the best I can. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is demonstrate how you can measure how much water is actually used per flush in your toilet tank. Most toilet tanks will give you an idea, they'll have a little, uh, they'll have it written inside or down the back behind the bowl, but uh, I'm, I'm checking more accurately to see how much each flush uses. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to flush the toilet here. Um, watch, okay, it's a pretty late closing flapper. Okay, so that's only just actually drained about half of the amount there. So what I'm going to do here, I have a 6 litre bucket of water. I've turned off the tap so it's not filling in the back. I have 6 litres of water measured out here. And uh, right here is the line where uh, it was filled up to before. So I'm going to find out how much this takes per flush. Okay. Not too bad actually. You know what? Six liters has filled it pretty much up to where it was before. I'm uh, really surprised. So uh, this is a good thing for me. It's about the same as I'm using in your average low flow toilet. Uh, I think this flapper might be um, might be uh, wired here with with the chain so that it closes earlier than uh, than most would. So this is great news. I'm only using six liters per flush in this toilet, despite it looking like a lot more. So yeah, this is good news. I'm going to be able to have luxury sponge baths over the next week. Awesome.